So, uh, Catherine, the mission statement of the Arkansas Cinema Society is to build a film community in Arkansas where film lovers can watch films, share ideas, connect with each other, and nurture the new and existing film talent within our state through increased exposure to filmmakers and their art. At the beginning of the show, you talked a little bit about why you and Jeff thinks this is important. Can you tell that story about photography and high school and one sure, more time? Sure, sure. So um, my own personal story is that I was interested in photography and theater growing up in Arkansas, and I think if I had been exposed to film sooner, I would have had a better idea sooner that that's what I wanted to do. And I went to um, college for photography and minored in communications and took marketing and all of those things. It's just all like filmmaking if you just put them in a blender. Um, And then I worked for a, a celebrity photographer when I moved to New York for the first year and I, through him, uh, met some folks at Miramax, which was, you know, that's the place to be at that time, and um, went to work at Miramax and got on my first film set and just knew instantly that's what I wanted to do. Um, But Jeff has a different, a different journey, but, but similar in that he was also kind of deprived of the being exposed to the filmmaking world here in Arkansas. And um, both of us just really want to uh, help increase the film community and build it, not just the industry of it, but the interest in it and c- sort of bring cinema as an art form more into the community. You know, I, I, I've learned this since I started the show a year ago that behind every great leader is a teacher. And she just, again, just validated that. I hear that over and over and over. So you and Jeff somehow tied up, met up with each other and started talking about this. How did it, how did it come to be? Well, so we had the, um, the when the Little Rock Film Festival shut its doors, every, there were so many disappointed people, myself included, because much of my filmmaking career in Little Rock w- is a result um, either primary or secondary of the Little Rock Film Festival and people that met there. And, you know, my husband, Gabe Mahan, met Josh and Miles Miller and Daniel Campbell, and they, they've all been collaborators ever since. And, and so there's a, a real need for that kind of organization here. And so when it closed its doors, you know, there's 30 of us kind of got together and said, what do we do and how do we replace this? Um, and so we kind of met over a year or so and then... Jeff did his screening of Loving um, in November of last year, and we, I ran into him there, and we, he kind of asked what I was up to, and I said, you know, we're trying to get a festival going again here, and he said, well, let's not do a festival. Let's do what the Austin Film Society has done in Austin. And so it all happened really quickly. What I, is that? So what, I, is, what is the Austin Society The Austin done? Film Society has been around for 30 years and Richard Linkletter originally founded it. And it was kind of a bunch of filmmaker friends in their basement sharing movies and then it kind of grew out of that into what it is today, which is a huge organization. It's a nonprofit that, that participates in all the different festivals. Um, really, it will in, definitely in Austin, but also in the state, but they offer grant programs. They have a studio um, they have their own theater. They do screenings weekly, monthly. They have host filmmakers. They have, I mean, it's it's tremendous what they're doing. And um, I wish you'd do all of that in the Dreamland Ballroom. Wouldn't that cool. be fun to have a little stage that that, that helps kids? And you know, I love kids and it helps kids in the Dreamland Ballroom. Of course, my stage is not very big. Yeah, I love the Dreamland ba- Ballroom. It'd be great to do something there. I'd love for you to, but you know, we don't have an elevator. We could put one in. There you go. <laughs> but where are you going to put? Where are you going to put? Uh, where are you thinking about housing your organization? Well, right now um, <laughs> we're roving from coffee shop to coffee shop on a daily basis, <laughs> saving quite a bit on uh, office space. Um, but we, you know, hope to house ourselves downtown Little Rock somewhere. Um, I bet your dad knows a vacant place. I can help with that. <laughs> Let me throw something in too. Sure. When when the uh, 
Cinema Society was announced, it got extensive coverage in L.A. and even nationwide. And the uh, Little Rock can always use some good PR, but maybe particularly most recently with our crime and shootings, it's good to get some good PR for a change. And the announcement of the program was picked up by the Washington Post and Miami Herald, uh, really uh, paper, newspapers all over the country. Why? What made it special? Jeff Nichols. Oh. Yeah. And Mary Steenburgen's on our board. Uh, Governor Mike Beebe's on our board. Um, Kathy Webb, vice mayor's on our board. We've got some really heavy hitters on our board that are wanting this to be t- to succeed and happen. So, Did we get tax credits for it yet, for films that come to town? Did we ever get tax credits to the legislature? We do have tax credits, yeah. Good, because you know, we had it for a while. They took it away. Mm-hmm. And I didn't know if we ever got it back. Got to have them. You've got to have them. Everybody mm-hmm. else has got them. You've got to have them. Yep. It's $80 billion business in Georgia now. And if we turn the Main Street downtown Little Rock into the, uh, what's it called, the Creative Corridor? Mm-hmm. I mean. Yeah, the tech park, you know, for me, it seems like a very natural place for us to be around because so much of filmmaking is technical. And, you know, I, I've said this before, but the there's not just actors and and directors on movies there's depending on the size of the film usually around 250 people that touch it and a lot of those people make really good livings um so it's it's an industry and it's one of the the only art industries that the only art art forms that is also an industry and i think it's tremendously important for economic development um and uh also just to build up the the arts culture in the city is you know really the heart of the city if you like this video subscribe to our youtube channel by clicking on the picture in the center of the screen for more at carrie's interviews click either video on the right of the screen and as always thank you for watching